what are some of the top things that you need to consider for health and safety requirements, the condition of the property, as well as our California state requirements as well. All that information and more on this week's episode. Stay tuned. All right, so, you know, the, I get a ton of calls when people are looking at properties. Is this gonna be a problem? Is that gonna be a problem? I'm just gonna go through a couple of things to make sure that you're aware that, you know, the bank wants to make sure that there are no health and safety issues that need to be met for you and your family to actually move into the property. So what are some of those things? I mean, one of the big ones is obviously for state requirements, we need to make sure that we have the smoke detectors and the carbon monoxide detectors installed, preferably um, prior to the home inspection because uh, as you'll know on the other videos, that'll save you a ton of money um, on doing those um, additional inspection reports. A bunch of concerns are also, you know, does the property have carpeting? Are there no broken windows? Can all the systems be checked? You wanna make sure that there's no holes in the drywall. You wanna make sure that there's no leaks in the roof. Your home inspection report's gonna confirm a lot of this, but what are some of the things that you as a buyer can uh, avoid when looking at a property or when you're submitting your offer and how to negotiate that deal. You'll wanna make sure that the property is secure. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the property has all the systems checked for health and safety. The electrical is all done correctly. Um, I get a lot of questions about exposed flooring. Now exposed flooring, if it does not, if it has like the, the carpet removed and it has exposed tack board, that can be an appraisal requirement. We'll also want to make sure that we have the water heater double strapped because in California we're in an earthquake zone. Um, it's state law, state requirements to make sure that the water heaters are double strapped to code as well to avoid any issues if there was an earthquake. Those are a few of the quick tips when you're looking at properties. Those are some of the requirements that the bank's gonna enforce to make sure that you're in compliance with the state uh, and real estate law, but also the condition of the property and making sure that your family can move in. If you're looking at properties that are fixer-uppers, um, you might wanna consider doing a rehab loan, uh, which can either be a 203K FHA loan or one of our home style programs are really great as well. Um, so give me a call. Let me know what questions you have about any property that you're looking at purchasing. We can go through some of the photos online or answer any questions that might affect your specific loan type. One of the interesting things is, is that, you know, everybody thinks that VA, FHA appraisals are more um, specific or require different health and safety uh, verifications compared to conventional loans. Just want to let you know, it doesn't really matter if it's an FHA, VA, or conventional loan. All the health and safety standards and requirements are going to be uh, just about the same for any type of loan program. The bank wants to make sure that we have everything ready for you guys to move in. So that's all I have right now regarding health and safety requirements and how it applies to your appraisal. We've got a couple of great tips out there. I hope you guys learned a few things. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys. I'm having a great day and I hope you are too. We'll catch you soon on the next episode. Thank you so much.